Today, we are going to install a solar panel onto our do-it-yourself off-road trailer. Now, we're not gonna install it like how you usually see it flat on the roof. Well, it'll be slightly installed flat, but we're gonna have it so that it can slide forward, and then once we unlock it, it'll automatically pop to a 45 degree angle. This will allow us to get more sunlight to the solar panel than just laying flat. So in the kit, the Renogy 100 watt solar panel came with a 30 watt Wanderer controller. This actually allows us to increase up to 400 watts of solar coming in. I gotta say, I actually find it fitting that this is called the Wanderer. It goes well with the off-road trailer as we're gonna be wandering our backcountry. Found it fitting, not why I got this kit. I just finished cutting the aluminum brackets that I'm making. And what I'm envisioning is one bracket is gonna be on the hinge right here. And when this is closed, this will be on the, a bracket will be on the solar panel here, which will then allow it to open up. If we were higher up, it would open up the solar panel to a 45. Then when we close the solar pan, panel down closer to the hinge, the strut will then just align flat with the hinge that'll be on the roof. So everything will be tucked away inside. All right, so got the sliders on. I've got our struts on. Now, down here, I placed in this channel underneath to help support the bracket as the 1 16th frame of the solar panel was just too thin. It was actually starting to bend uh, when using Lower, up luring and raising the sliders. So I had some leftover aluminum channel. I cut to support each corner of the, where the brackets are. And I'm actually gonna do the same where the opposite end of the strut. It's slightly bowing. So instead of uh, putting that stress on it, I'm gonna cut some pieces, two pieces out of this one, drill the holes and install that quickly. It's more than 45, but it'll work. And then we've got our sliders. All right guys, we got it on the trailer. I've already put down the first screw what I'm doing is putting butyl seal underneath in each section that I'm screwing down. This will help keep it watertight. This is up. Slide out the solar panel. And now we are ready for some solar rays. Put it back down holding the camera. Oh. 
still got to go get my locks so I can lash this down so down the road it doesn't bounce and then pop open. Don't want that happening. Now I got to wire it up. Wires are going to come back to this corner here, travel back to the back of the trailer, and then go down in the roof. I have a one of those uh, ports to go in so it keep it water keep the water out and then it'll go down the side of the wall of the trailer and hook up to the command center. We'll see what we're going to do with power options. Right off the bat it's just for charging the computer, the cell phone, the drone, this camera, etc. I've ran the wires through the back hatch underneath. Just see the wiring popping through there and underneath there. So we've got the wanderer controller in the back there. I've got the wires poking through. I've got a main fuse box. The command center are poking through down. These will be all nicely tucked away and into the center going to the command center which is right here. Here's our waterproof box. It's hard to get the camera in there and work at the same time. So I'm going to finish off the wiring and then I'll re get in there with the camera and show you guys how I completely set up our solar system with the command center. Well guys, day two, we had to go into town, get an inline fuse 30 amp, some wire connectors and some wire. So down below in our hatch, we have the battery. Still got to do some more cleaning up with these wires. So here we've got the command center, cigarette lighter, USB, what our battery's at, some extra switches, but this switch will turn on the cigarette lighter, USB switch, and what our battery voltage is at. Inside is our extra fuse box, the control panel, battery shut off, and fuse box to the solar panel. So I can easily throw off that fuse. Now shut down the solar panel to the battery. Then I also have a battery switch. And that will provide power to our command center. Let me know in the comments of what your thoughts are on our little power station area. And what you thought of the solar panel slide out pop up at 45. Uh, actually, I did lock it down. And let's go quickly see that before we finish off the video. As you can see, the solar panel is laying flat. It rolls a little bit, but then it locks. And it won't, it won't lift up on its own. You can see I've got a carabiner and a bracket stopping it i've got it on each side so i'm able to move it just enough backwards again to unlock it with the carabiner it's a little hard with just the one hand Let's see if i can do it though there we go well guys i hope you liked our solar panel install if you want to see what else we've been doing you can check it out in this video here otherwise head to our playlist and you can check out our podcast and other adventures so again thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one